Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time for another video. Today we're looking at something called solutions management. It's going to make deployment so much easier once it's released. This is in public preview, so don't use it in production. But in this video, I'll just show you the basics of how it works. So let's get to it. So I think it was back in May of 23 that I first heard about solutions management. It didn't have a name back then, I think. Maybe it did. Um, but uh, what I heard was that it was supposed to make deploying your solutions a lot easier. So, of course, today, if you are deploying your solutions, maybe you're using some kind of scripting to deploy all of the assets and queues and stuff like that to a different tenant or different organization. Now you don't have to do that anymore. You can package everything in one nice file, move that file, upload it, and then everything can be deployed in one go. And we'll show you how to do that in this video. It's, as I said, a public preview. So don't choose this in production. It's not ready for that yet and it's not supported, but you can get a good impression of what is to come. And it's really, really good, I think. So let's jump into uh, Studio and Orchestrator. So I have a, a blank project here in Studio. And as you can see, I don't have any assets. I don't have any queues, but I want to create a few of these artifacts just so we have something to move to a, a different organization. So I'll jump into Orchestrator, into my development tenant. And in here, we will create a queue. And we will call this uh, my new queue, just to give it a name. Um, and then we will uh, add an asset as well. And we'll call the asset my new asset. And we give it the text value, my value. Again, doesn't really matter. But now when we go back into the studio and do a refresh in Data Manager, we should be able to see the my new asset and the my new queue. So we're all good. What we'll do now is we'll publish this automation. We will uh, just click next and we'll publish it to our tenant processes feed. That's good. I'll just click publish and wait for it to finish. So if we move back into Orchestrator, we can go ahead and go to the automations tab. We can create or add a new process. That process will use the package we just created, demo automation. We'll click next and next and create and close. Now we have a process inside of our processes uh, tab here. We'll also go to triggers and we'll create a new trigger that will run our, we'll just call it our trigger, right? And I'll select the demo automation process. And I will say that this will run every day at noon and click add, create. So uh, now we have inside of our shared folder, we have a process, we have an asset, we have a queue and we have a trigger. And we want to package these nicely and move them to a completely different organization. And in order to do that, we go into automation ops where this new feature is in preview available. So we'll jump into automation ops in our cloud platform. And then we'll go to the solution uh, management uh, preview page here. And we already have the development tenant selected. That is where we have all of the different things that we want to package up and deploy. So we will uh, then go over here and uh, click the create solution package button. And then we can click here to start adding the different components to the package. And inside the shared folder, which is the only folder I have available, we have these different uh, uh, components available. Our new asset, the demo automation, my new queue, and our trigger. And I'll click add. And now you'll see this screen where you can actually configure each of the different components. So you can actually say that the package name should have a different description than just the default robotic enterprise framework uh, description. And you can do that for the different components, you know, a description for the queue, the max number of retries, things like that on the trigger as well. For now, we'll just be happy with things as they are and click publish. We need to give it a name. We'll call it Yebis Great Solution. This is probably the best solution I've ever built because there's no code from me in it. So it, it, it actually works. Uh, we'll give the package a name, uh, Yebis Solution Package. 
and give it a description. This is really nice. And click publish. So what happens now is it says that it is uh, getting things ready. And if you click here, you can check the status of it. And by the time we get to the page, I will venture a guess that it is already ready. You can see here the status is ready. So this package is now ready to use. So we'll go to this menu over here and uh, download the latest version. And that should then uh, create a new file in my downloads folder, which we have here. The Epis Solution Package 100, that's good. And then we will actually go back to Orchestrator and sign out of this organization altogether. Because I created a new organization just to demo for you how easy it is to move things to a completely different uh, organization. So I'll sign in. And the organization we were in just before was the UiPath with Yebe organization, the one I usually use for these demos. I have created a demo organization just now. We'll go into that. We will go into uh, our default tenant, Orchestrator. And we can see in here that there should be absolutely nothing here. No processes, no assets, no queues or triggers or anything like that. In here again, we will go into Automation Ops because now we need to upload the uh, solution package we just built in the other organization. So uh, in here, we can uh, go to Solution Management uh, Preview. We can upload a solution package. I will simply drag over the file I just created and upload it. And we can see that it is pending in the status here. Again, it only takes a few seconds usually. If I press F5 now, we can see that it's ready. So now I can click the menu over here, deploy the latest version. We can select which folder do we want to deploy into, the shared folder, and click Next. And now we can configure all of these components that we could configure when we were building the package. We can do that here for this deployment of the package. So we can change all of these settings here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click Validate and Continue. Click Start Deployment. And now we'll be instructed to remember to uh, make sure that you have all of the right uh, custom libraries and stuff like that. That should also be available for, for sort of code distribution. Uh, once this is all done, you need to add the machines and all of that stuff. And then uh, in just a few seconds, we should see this button down here light up, activate deployment. Once we do that, things should be ready to go. So that will actually uh, enable the trigger. There we go. Now it's active. Uh, now we can activate it. So that will actually um, enable triggers and stuff like that inside of Orchestrator. So we'll click Activate Deployment. And we can check the status of that as well. We'll go to the Deployment page and we can see that it is uh, successfully deployed. So now if we go to Orchestrator on this, um, on this tenant, we should now see a shared folder with a solution folder inside of it. This is Yebis Great Solution. Inside of that, we have processes, assets, queues, triggers, and so on. So this is how you distribute new uh, packages using the solutions management feature that is coming up, I would guess, in a few months. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I was very excited when I heard about it the first time, and now I just can't wait to really get my hands on it. So play around with it. Don't use it in production because that will break stuff, I'm sure. Um, but um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you, like, uh, if you would like to watch other videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because then you'll be notified when I put out more videos. And that happens sometimes. I'm not going to say once a week because that never happens. But uh, thank you for watching. Take care.